Hey guys, Machine Day now. I hope you're doing really, really well. Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be going through boosting, okay? Now, immediately, I know what you're asking. What what the hell is boosting? I don't even know what a boost is. Are you talking about follow for follow, Machine Day? Is that what you're doing right now? I'm not doing follow for follow, and if you do follow for follow, you're a loser. Maybe you're not a loser, but maybe you're a little bit desperate. Don't do follow for follow, okay? It doesn't help you. Anyway, boosting your stream is a new function from Twitch, okay? Twitch are testing in beta at the moment. It's a closed beta which is invite only they're testing a boost functionality where you can commit channel points as a viewer to your favorite streamer and they get a boost in promotion and what does a boost in promotion look like well i'll show you a lot of detail about that within this video but essentially you get impressions of promotion bumped up in different parts of twitch we don't know the exact details but it's obvious from the videos and stuff some of the detail so in this video i'm going to go through when this happened what the closed beta is all about i'll show you the video from twitch all about this what the effects of this are and having experienced the boost myself whether or not it actually tangibly affected and improved the promotion of my own stream that's what you can expect in this video oh yeah and don't forget follow for follow okay if you follow me i'll totally follow you back right for real though don't forget to give the video a thumbs up it definitely helps me and if you want to subscribe feel free to also also if you want to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana you can literally view me in a live format and ask me any questions whatsoever just don't make them scientific or mathematical or about streaming or about good content or good entertainment actually just don't visit me don't visit me at all i don't want to see you let's go <laughs> So what is boosting? Okay, well, so about a week ago on the night, actually exactly one week ago, I got an email from Twitch and it was, boost this stream, closed beta invite for the newest community challenge. So here's the email if anyone's interested to see it. If you didn't receive this email, don't worry. It's not a problem. This is a closed beta. I guess they've probably like hand selected the absolute best possible streamers out there for this trial run. And then they'll roll it out to the rest of the plebs eventually. Or maybe it's just completely random. So boost Boost This Stream, Machine Daniel, last week we introduced a community challenge called Boost This Stream, a new way for viewers to help creators reach new audiences. So the focus here is on new audience and improving the discoverability of people. People have been screaming out for this for a long time with Twitch and it's almost, it's got this reputation, Twitch, as being not a very discoverable platform, unlike other platforms such as Facebook Gaming and of course YouTube Gaming. So this is a really good thing that they're doing. It's a proactive thing that they're doing. I don't know if it's enough, but it's certainly something that they're doing that's going to help people your channel has been selected to pass to pay in uh your channel's been selected to your channel has been selected to pass to why can't I speak? Your channel has been selected to participate in our closed beta. There is no action required on your part other than reading this email. I, I, I mean, I didn't know I had to read the email for it to action, but what is Boost This Stream? Boost This Stream is a new community challenge where viewers can pull challenge points to unlock boost rewards. The boost reward promotes your stream to highly visible parts of Twitch. The promotion can help more viewers discover you, your community, and your content. What do we take from this email? First of all, highly visible parts of Twitch. Parts is plural, so this isn't just top of the discovery tree or recommended or whatever. This is going to be a variance of different things. There's a promotion, uh, and it is clear when you're being promoted, and I'll show that later on. There's a link to the video here. Of course the video is on Vimeo. Like, why the hell would they direct, like, potentially hundreds of thousands of people to YouTube? Like, why would they do that? I mean, I don't know why at this point Twitch doesn't just buy Vimeo. Wait, what if they buy Vimeo? That'd be cool. They probably will. I think there's a good chance that Twitch will buy Vimeo. But here's the video. I'll play it in full for you. Essentially, really what Twitch is doing here is they recognize that their platform is not a discoverable platform. For new streamers, it's very difficult to get noticed. So this is just one very visible, proactive thing that Twitch are doing to help that along. I think they recognize that they can't continue to be undiscoverable for new streamers because what that will do is it will stop new streamers from coming to Twitch and instead they may go elsewhere. We noticed in the video here that it does show when there's been a promoted uh, person. We can see there's the promoted tag. So you may start seeing this around Twitch at the moment. The way they've done this is that basically the more
more active a community is, i.e. the more intensive and the more engaged the chat community is with the streamer, the more likely it is that the stream will be boosted. And let me explain that just for a second. If there's a channel that has been invited to this, but the viewers in chat are not very engaged, they're less likely to boost the stream. And it shows that the chat itself is a little bit dead. And we've all been in those streams before. Everyone's got to start somewhere. And to be honest, some people just have a more chill vibe and that's absolutely fine. But other communities where they're really going out there to entertain and they've got a very active chat, they're more likely to be people that will spend money on Twitch, that will stay for long, that will be a loyal Twitch platform user versus a YouTube or a Facebook gaming platform user. So essentially what Twitch is doing here is it's encouraging almost the cream of the crop in terms of the chat to force the promotion of the streamers that are the best. And that's, that's a really clever thing that they've done there. This is a very much a Darwinism, cream of the crop rises to the top, survivalism, evolutionist, I don't even know, just it, there's some science into this, okay? Twitch have definitely put some science into this. The better the community, the more engaged the community, the more likely it is that the streamers for those communities will rise to the top and get the exposure that they probably deserve. But there are some other metrics that they've put in place here that make this really, really interesting. I'll go into a bit more detail about that. I will also just link that video in the description below so you can take a look at it yourself on Vimeo. So now we get into a little bit about the web page itself, boost this stream. They've got some content out there. Again, I'll link this in the description below. What it is, it's a community challenge. So you can set this up in the back end and I'll show you where you can do that in a second. If you've been invited to the beta, we'll tell you how many times you can expect your stream to be promoted when the challenge starts. So this isn't just a random thing. What actually happens here is Twitch specifically promote you for a certain number of impressions, okay? And once they hit the threshold of impressions, they turn it off again. The way that I managed this was I actively told my chat about this because I wanted to do a video about this to inform you guys. And it will remain visible for two days once you activate this. Now it's activated from when it just appears. Now I've got some streamer friends who have also been been invited to the closed beta and I've got some other very good streamer friends that haven't been invited to the closed beta so please don't be worried if you haven't been invited to the closed beta at this point I really don't think it's necessarily about like quality of stream or or anything like that I do think there's a lot of randomness that's gone on in the selection process I got the email on the 9th of December and I think on the 10th of December the boost appeared in my chat but one thing to note here it only appeared on desktop it did not appear on mobile you can then look at the analytics as well for promoted impressions and promoted clicks and we'll take a look at that in this video we talk a little bit about how many channel points it takes to complete a channel it says here that it's variable by channel and is set by twitch you don't get the choice to set the community points that need to be achieved with other custom community challenges you do get to set the points the duration the image and all that stuff you don't get any of that with this and just to put this into context there are other streamers that i sort of hang around with one of them did this boost and he had to get something like seventeen thousand channel points to activate the boost, whereas I had to get 57,000 channel points to activate it on my channel. It's a highly visible parts of the site. One example is Twitch's live channels we think you'll like. So this is on the main screen of the browsing. We'll experiment with other locations as well. We'll just have a quick look at this. So I've just had a quick search on a few different channel categories like Fortnite, Cyberpunk, Marvel's on stream. I've not actually seen a single promoted channel. This might be because the open beta period of the first two to three days is actually finished now and they're going to do maybe another round of this at a later stage. Or it may just be that there are so few people that have been invited to it at any one time, there's just not that many people that are promoted. Remember, the essence of being promoted above other streamers because your community has gifted their own channel points to promote that disappears a little bit if there's loads of people being promoted. All of a sudden, you're not actually being promoted. You can disable the boosting if you want. There is a way to do that on the Create Dashboard, Preferences, Partner Affiliate, and then Promotions, and then End Boost. What happens if I end my stream during a boost? It'll pick up at the start of your next stream. So you've got to be careful when you do these boosts, and you can obviously interact with your chat about this at the time as well. If you're nearing the very end of your stream, you probably don't want to trigger it. You, it, it would be better off holding off, even though it will carry on until the next stream. You don't want new people coming to your stream and then 
you instantly going offline. That's not a good experience for people new to your stream, okay? And also, I think certain games as well, if you're in a very low discoverability category, a highly saturated game, Fortnite will be a good example of that, or Cyberpunk at the moment, perhaps Warzone, that will be a really good category to use the boost in because you're going to get a lot more exposure to the same types of people that you would normally stream to and the promotions are actually there as in the impressions will be there in an area where essentially pick and choose where you want to play that so let's now just dive into the settings okay so first of all i've clicked on preferences and affiliate and i'm now into the promotion section further down the page i can enable or disable this enabling boost allows you to receive promotions from the community disabling will override the boost challenge settings the boost challenge settings i think are in the community and channel points section here and it's manage rewards and challenges scroll down and you'll see boost challenge so as you can see here i had a 52,000 boosted stream i clicked enable on this it, it has completed as well there was a banner that came across the top of the chat that said 100 percent boosted and it's now active but i'll just show on screen as the people were actually doing the boosts and i'll just show what that looks like so first of all you can see here there are people that are boosting mr levy's contributed 250 total to the boost the stream challenge it's just like any normal community challenge and you see at the top of the desktop only remember this isn't on mobile you see a progress bar 6,900 of the 52,000. Here's what it looks like when you actually first click the icon here. It literally is just a small, almost like a widget there. Here's like a quick message that you get before you actually press to contribute just to help the channel grow by re reaching new viewers. So this is literally incentivizing your viewers to spend their kind of time and channel points on actually helping the streamer, which is also a good sign of a community that is strong and loyal is most likely to stick around on twitch potentially spend more money watch more ads so there is there is some kind of financial logic to this that twitch has applied so before i show this next section here i just want to point out that as the promotion was boosted there was a little message that said this channel is now being boosted and it will be boosted and then it said an x number of times and i guess that that is a variable number that changes per channel because for a very very small streamer being boosted to 500 impressions as an example would be a big amount but to somebody that's already being boosted to naturally through twitch to say 500 people if they've got half a million followers obviously 500 people extra promotion impressions is not really anything extra so it's it's a variable amount that will be based on a multitude of factors and i guess that would be the number of followers you have and the concurrent viewers that you get and of course channel views as well the number of times you get promoted will vary depending on the size of streamer that you are for me i got boosted to 2800 people and that's what it said in the widget at the top once i was being boosted so it literally said in the top right hand corner you're being boosted to 2800 people or 2800 times so now in the analytics we can now go to see promotion impressions you can get that by clicking on the down icon and scrolling down i can see on monday the 14th of december which is when my community triggered the community promotion i got 2900 promotion impressions so it's directly affected my channel in terms of the promotional impressions and there's data about this which is really really good the next question is how did that affect my followers well we'll go into a bit more detail about this in a second but like top level high level data I got 13 followers within that stream, which is probably a little bit above average for me. In a three to four hour stream, I would typically get five to 10 followers. That's fairly normal, depending on the game I'm playing in the category. As you can see here, there are days where I'm getting 17, 13, 12, 10, and 12 followers but there are also days where i'm getting no followers or one follower or three followers so on monday the 14th i got 13 followers which is a little bit above average but you can drill into this into a lot more detail on the actual stream summary statistics which i'm now going to go into and just very quickly high level data on average viewers M my channel average is somewhere between kind of 14 to 20 people at the moment i sometimes get 25 30 people joining in and a bad stream for me would be like 12 people but on average um, this monday was 16 so but to be honest there's been a lot of other streams where it's been 16 average viewers what i will say here though is that i think i had quite a slow stream at the start of monday and this boost did help pick up the average viewership towards the end of the stream i did tangibly see that so let's just go into the stream summaries and i'm going to look at monday december the 14th here first of all live views 
Live views for me was up 170. Now, I typically get 150 to 250 live views per stream. So this is tangibly more. Now, let's just actually do a quick calculation here. If I get the upper limit, let's say 250 in a five-hour stream, that's probably fairly normal for me. I've got probably, although it says 170 here, I normally get around about 2 to 250. So I know that that's about 100 more live views. What that means is of the 2,907 impressions that I got from this promotion, I received around about 100 live views now that's literally the click through so the click through ratio on that let's talk about click through ratio for a second let's say around about 100 extra click throughs over and above what i would normally have divided by the 2800 the click through ratio has been around about 3.5 percent in marketing terms a click through ratio of anywhere between two and five percent is generally pretty good based on impressions only we are able to calculate that roughly probably three to four percent is what my click through ratio was for that promotion in terms of followers i got 13 followers on this particular stream the average views you can see did peak up towards the end of the stream which is when the promotion happened i think the promotion happened at around about 10 p.m but i held some of those viewers and let's now just have a look at followers new followers you can see here as well around 2 15 i got a couple of extra followers straight away and then 20 minutes later i got another couple of followers like another 25 minutes later i then got another one two three followers so if you look at that in comparison to the rest of the stream that's definitely above average so it did tangibly make a difference to my average viewership and also the new followers that I got but of course that's all pretty damn useless if those followers don't convert to long-term viewers and engage properly within your community so it's very much over to you as the broadcaster to try and sort of be on your a-game and convert some of these new viewers to longer-term viewers so just some final thoughts here, really. It's really good that Twitch are doing this. It's good that they're finding ways and trying to innovate and using the community as part of that, as the driving force for that. That's a very good thing that Twitch are doing. It's very clever that they've done that as well, because as I've mentioned, I know that that will result in the people that are most engaged with streamers for the cream of the crop streamers then getting boosted. And it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. I would say this is almost like a Reddit style metric. On Reddit, upvotes will pull push content to the top and you get more visibility of the top content and the downvoted content or the no voted content on reddit gets pushed into oblivion and it'll never get popular you don't see it there's no karma now they may implement it in the same way that they do with reddit eventually my feeling is they probably won't i think using channel points community awards is very much a twitch centric metric and tool that they have so it makes sense for them to leverage tools that the community is already very familiar with rather than trying to directly pillage and plagiarize another social media platform i know there'll be some people that will argue that this is a really unfair metric that they've put in place and frankly while it's a closed beta you're probably correct because obviously this is only available to certain people but they have to test this there's no point in them rolling this out to the whole of Twitch if it's not right. So they need live data for this. They've no choice but to roll this out in a closed beta manner. And this is very much how good software practices entail. So it's good that they're doing that. People just need to persevere. I'm sure that this will come available in the next two to three months for everyone on Twitch, probably with some tweaks once they've been able to manage the data. And that might mean that you get more impressions or fewer impressions. Remember those channel points that your community is contributing to the boost could be getting used on other benefits for that viewer so they are directly sacrificing potentially some of their own entertainment and fun uh, or even benefits for promoting you and that's a really really good sign and twitch will see that and more than likely this will only be rolled out to affiliates and to partners because you do not get channel points when you're not affiliated or partnered I'm really keen to know what you guys think, okay? So drop your comments below. Let me know if you think this is a good idea, what you would change. Have you had uh, your own experiences with boosting through the channel community points? Once again, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and have a wonderful day, guys. Take care.